Hello everyone and welcome. What we can't complain about today is the weather. Absolutely perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box as always by Lee Dixon and getting ready for a potentially thrilling contest. It's Uruguay versus Paraguay. Yeah, the talking is over, the game plans are set. Now it's up to the players to go out and earn their corn. There's nothing the managers can do once the first whistle goes. I think, Derek, we're in for a cracker. Well, here is the lineup for the hosts today. And they are a team, Lee, known for their aggressive high pressing. Well, absolutely. That takes a lot of hard work, a lot of organisation, force the opposition to make early passes. The weakness of it, if you beat the high press, you can get exposed at the back. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. Fairly conventional 4-5-1 setup. Yeah, that back four will be protected throughout the game with the five midfield players in front of them. Really important that they do support that lone striker when they do have the ball. And the match is underway. Taking it away. Via Santi. Gaston Jimenez. 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 On the ball, Alderete. Well, they're keeping their opponents moving and guessing. Gaston Jimenez. Romero. Jimenez. Gaston Jimenez. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. And just like that, they've lost possession. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. And it's in! 1-0, they've breached the defence. Well, as we see from the replay, the keeper's got no chance. It's all about the strike, all about the power. He does everything right, head down, back of the net. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. The opening goal of the game then. Omar Alderete. And no luck keeping possession. The 
real danger. Real chance. And another one! Two quick goals! Will it turn out to be the two-punch knockout? Well, here we see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and he had choices of what type of finish to apply. And bang, he goes for the smash. Lovely goal. So 2-0 now. Gaston Jimenez. Jimenez. Via Santi. Jimenez. It's with Arsam India. Gaston Jimenez. Chance to do damage. Jimenez. Romero. Gaston Jimenez. It's with Villasanti. Well, they're eyeing that final pass, you just feel. I don't think too many players would have the overdrive to get to that one. Goalkeeper's ball. The hosts really haven't had too much of the ball, but to their credit, they've been absolutely blistering on the counter-attack. They just sit back, hit you on the break, and it's really working for this team. Gaston Jimenez. Romero. Jimenez. Jimenez. Gaston Jimenez. And here it is again. It's a great team passing move to set up the chance. And then the composer is impressive as he smashes the ball with all he has to beat a forlorn goalkeeper. Brilliant strike. Well, 2-1 it is here. Well, the stoppage time situation. One minute here. And showing fine vision. Not to be advised giving the ball away in that position. A nice ball over the top. Well, the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Wow, he's simply the difference between these two sides. All the eyes will be on him for this second half. Can he get the hat-trick? The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Villasanti. Angel Romero. And he was in the right place to intercept. Oh, good vision. And now can he keep calm? And he thwarted the attack with a masterful tackle. Almiron. 
Angel Romero. Decent progress with the ball at his feet. Real chance. Well, it's all going so swimmingly for them here. Another goal. And now it's a matter of avoiding any silly mistakes. Well, here's the replay. And as we can see, the defence can't cope with the through ball. And then through on goal. Do you go for placement or do you go for power? Well, he certainly wasn't messing around, was he? Absolutely smashes it past the keeper. It's a really lovely finish. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. So there it is, 3-1 the current scoreline here. Villasanti. The visitors have totally controlled possession, but it's just whether they can convert that possession into clear-cut chances. You sense they need to pick up the pace a little, start utilising the wide areas more. The back line's doing a decent job. Hopefully the forwards can do that as well. And threading it forward, he's managed to get in behind. A goal! And it's very much game on here. Well, as we see again here, this really is patient, accurate, incisive passing at its best. There's still a lot of work to be done, but the keeper presents the near post on a plate and he's punished. That's quite remarkable. Three, two it is. Who would have predicted that before a ball was kicked? So, 20 minutes to go. They've won back possession. Via Santi. Jimenez. It's with Via Santi. Gaston Jimenez. They're showing a willingness to attack as they must, given the circumstances. Time running out. Only 10 minutes remaining here. Well, they worked so hard here to be in front, and that's been recognised by the supporters. They just need to hold on a bit longer to see this out. Not a bad pass it was. Gaston Jimenez. Almiron. Jimenez. On the ball in an attacking position, but they've got to do something positive quickly. Almiron, an attack full of promise. Omar Alderete. We've had the official word, there will be a minimum of two added minutes. 
via Santi. Jimenez. Can they get in behind them? Surely! Late drama here! Level once more! Incredible scenes! And here it is again. It's a great team passing move to set up the chance. And it's a dream of a finish. Pure quality. It's the hardest technique to get right for me. It's all about the timing. And the referee blows the whistle, still all square at the end of 90 minutes. And so the story continues, the first period of extra time, and no one is leaving. Well, fitness levels are going to be tested now, Derek. And taken away. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. Perfectly positioned to take it away. And the first period of extra time comes to an end. Still level here. And so 15 more minutes. We're into the second period of extra time here. Almiron. Using his physical strength to make sure he doesn't lose the ball. Untidy in possession. Now showing excellent vision. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. They've lost it. On the offensive, is there to be late excitement? the door to a potential goal will he play it in and a good looking ball what a vital intervention well, you just never know about chances near the end. You've got to be opportunistic. Will this corner do it? And firing it into the area. Clumped clear. Must 
take the lead here. Well, the attack carried promise, but petered out. It always had the potential to go the distance, and it has, so a penalty shootout is next. the mentality of any footballer and he scores well don't they look easy when they go in and he's beaten the keeper no doubt head down lovely strike goalkeeper beaten from the spot bread and butter Derek bread and butter and the penalty converted here well that's hours of practice Derek hours of practice and he scores from the spot. Confident, head down, lovely strike. And just like that, he's come up with the save. Well, you have to have strong hands as a goalkeeper, and look at that. In it goes. Well, that's why players practice penalties in training. It won't be lost on him what's at stake here. He knows he's got to score. Penalty save. And that's the end of the story. Well, he's so often a guessing game, but he's guessed right and come up the hero.